Hey everyone, welcome back. And today I'm at Willits, the town of Willits, and we're gonna check out the Skunk Train Depot. And maybe see the train. It's supposed to be coming. I don't know if it's steam or diesel, but I'm gonna check out what we have here, the famous uh, Skunk Train. Well, I see the diesel here, number 64. And the uh, the carriage skunk train, which is a result of the name of the railroad, that thing was the one that made the skunky smell. And let's go see if we can see celebrating 125 years at the skunk railroad in Willits. Okay, we just went inside and we talked to these awesome two ladies at the train depot slash chamber of commerce and they said, um, feel free to walk around. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> and I got Ryan with me. He might yeah. spit some fun facts at you, look out. Eventually, I mean, I've learned a good couple hundred since the last video. <laughs> uh -huh. So this is old number 64. I was mentioning I was mentioning to them when I was a little kid in 1976, the bicentennial year, I would have been 11. And I think this train was painted uh, red, white, and blue. And I got a picture of me standing in front of it if it's the same engine from 1976. So I have a lot of memories of this particular train line. And when my kids were young, we bought them both... Um, stuffed skunks and one was stinkers and the other one was skunky i think or yeah. something yeah yeah you, you remember and they loved those things yeah I, <laughs> sasha my sister less so but i would uh hold mine by the neck close to me i'd take it everywhere i yeah like, i would i wouldn't leave it i mean it, talk for, like, about years. and i got old too like i did it i'm not ashamed to admit i did you it still have it i think i have it i don't you'd like take it anywhere I took that everywhere till I was like, like, I don't know, 11 or 12, like abnormally old <laughs> age to do something like that. So what, one of the things I remember, the, the reason they call this the skunk train is this particular car. Oh, we, is this the, a... This, see the smokestack there? They used to burn coal or oil. Some, something made the smell smell like a skunk. I think it was a combination of diesel and then the smell. If it smelled like a skunk, it probably had some sort of sulfur. Yeah. Sulfur typically is that. Oh, and they got a bell here too. Check this out. I don't know why they would be burning sulfur, but I could be wrong, but sulfur does create a skunk smell. Oh, look at the, this one. You can see these two logos there. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, is that one of the skunks up there that we're talking about in the window? Oh, it's a, it's a, a stuff, a skunk, it's not B. No, not the, the oh, famous. Oh, and they got like mountains on the side. This one's different. Ooh, I dig it. I like that. Really? Someone made the whole waves and everything. That, hold on. This is really good art. This is like actual. Yeah, I know. Someone like oil painted it. It's textured. And they got clouds. It's layered and textured. The paint actually has. Yeah, this is, well, I that's. Made this, but whoever did this is a real artist. Doesn't know what they're doing. Like that. <laughs> the clouds they have a, a depth to them because they have physical texture okay thickness to the paint and different and it's like really i don't know like you can really see it over there but like yeah i like it it's just like i love it i love the and it's uh i'm gonna see about getting on this thing yeah i mean if they said we could walk around it's cool. they were like surprisingly cool with us I don't think the door's open though. I'd be really careful, it's rusted. <clears throat> it's 
see that. Yeah. I don't know how strong this floor is. Yeah, look at it's bending under your weight. Just be careful. Here's the inside. I'm not going to get on that with you. These are the kind of seats that flip back and forth depending on the direction the train is going. You're not going to lean. So I can. Okay, these are the cars that they said, oh, walk down and take a look. These are like super abandoned, you know. Haven't been used in many years. There's a double decker there. I don't know how, who, how long these have been sitting there. Probably a pretty long time. Yeah. Shattered windows. But you know what? There'll probably be someone come along and buy them and restore them. Okay. Eventually. And they're trespassing. Damn, man. I, I want to go inside the... <laughs> Broken down tranny, kidding? Yeah, it looks like people might be staying there. Yeah, maybe. maybe a homeless place. Maybe. But they probably... Nah, I'd imagine they check this shit frequently. This should be... This would be a real... There's a flat car there. I could be wrong, though. Who knows? That looks like some fuck... So, that looks like some, um... It's like so something. It's like the one car that's not fenced off it has a chain around the door it looks like yeah. like it looks like you would like find you'd open it up and you just find someone in a straight jacket in the corner <laughs> just shaking. It's like you're just like what the fuck it's a insane asylum uh, yeah. silent hill train silent hill three train car right here you go you you go in the you walk in the the skunk train and then you, you fall asleep and you wake up in this silent hill three <laughs> um, moment. Yeah, what is that? That look at that. Let's see, it's like a fresh chain. It's got lots of uh, stories to tell. This toy thing. Yeah. I think I, you know what though. I think it's some kind of power unit. Look at the door. The door is like bent in. But I think I think this um. Is uh, some kind of uh, locomotive, some kind of locomotive. It's not a train. It's a locomotive. It's not a train. They got batteries there. I'm it's probably a helper locomotive for a train yard. Now that I know that that bothers people, I'm just gonna like deliberately <laughs> only call it train yeah. just to bother them. That's so funny that people care that much. I literally got a comment on one of my videos, and the guy was like berating me about calling a locomotive <laughs> a train. I'm like, dude. You don't need to watch my channel then, right? <laughs> no, like, actually, though. Well, it's just so funny the lengths that people go to, like, correct people's grammar when we're just trying to have a good time. Oh, there's a... Oh, okay. Look you at can, that. You can get in there, right? Real, oh, for real? Fuck yeah. Um, it's a bit right rusty. There. And this. Yeah, let's do this. I'll let you do it. I'll give you the camera. Okay. I need to get up before I hand me it, though. Um, okay, I'm, Ryan's gonna go a little uh, books. exploring. Books at this. I'm trying to hide. Okay, it's recording. Alright. Time to check this locomotive out. It's train, sorry. Sorry for pronouncing it correctly. Um, this is cool. I'm a little nervous just because of the structural integrity. And the fact that there's a bunch of trash all over the ground and stuff for a makeshift burner. It looks like it used to be some sort of engine room. Pretty interesting. Um, don't plan on doing too much here. Just chilling, checking it out. It's rare you get an opportunity to check out something like this. Yeah, and to be determined if there's a person in there. Oh, dead or alive? I, I heard noises, and also, like, probably haunted. Yeah. And the air probably isn't good to breathe in there, so I'm just gonna get out. Um.
Okay, the lady told us to come over to this museum that's closed and there could be some cool stuff. So there's an old steam donkey here. These were used a lot in the logging industry and they could put uh, cables to this and um, pull logs through the forest. They'd put cables at the top of a tree and then another tree and make and then strap it. And... So dad, do you remember um, back years ago, I was a kid, I, I forget what it was. It was like a steel mill or something that we went to visit and it was- um, Yeah, in Sebastopol. in Sebastopol. Yeah, this, uh, Sturgis. Yeah. They have one of these that was running. Yeah. And still operating. Yeah, bop, bop, bop. Uh, it's make really, it fun. Yeah, but it's crazy rare to see something like this still in working yeah. operation because there isn't really any point. Yeah, they call that place the Living Museum. Really? That's cool. Yeah. Have you done a video there? Yeah. Oh, okay. I did a full video. The sawmill and everything. There's some um, really old wheels. Trucks, I guess they call them. These things are really old. With a wooden frame. Yeah, Ryan? No. Too bad these doors didn't open because you know there's some trains in there. Yeah. Probably steam trains too. So this is like, I think this is where you'd oil the bearings. Pretty sure of the train. That was important to do. So this is uh, Roots of Motive Power Museum. Kind of cool. Let's see what else we can discover. We saw one steam donkey. Here's another one. And then over here is a boiler. This is the Murray Brothers Machine Works Union Lumber Company Pile Driver D11. Pile Driver. Hmm. Picture of it in the olden days working. And then over here, it's a Mansfield. Portable steam engine. That's pretty neat. A portable steam engine. Put the coal in there. Firewood. Mansfield Machine Works in Mansfield, Ohio is where this is made. They were made as early as 1840. And over here, it's got the wheel that you could attach any belt to and make it work for you. All right, they got a little train bridge set up here. What I'm on my way to checking out is this uh, steam train over here. Property. So this is the actual entrance to the 420 Roots of Motive Power Museum. And it's a shame it's I guess, closed. I guess 420 just happens to be the address. That's yeah. so funny. That's so... 420 happens to be the address. And we're in Mendocino. Too. And we're in Mendocino. So that can't be a coincidence. No way. But there, as you see there, it looks like an old Shea... Uh, <clears throat> let me clear my throat. Locomotive. Uh, <laughs> train car. <pod. laughs> an old Shea gear-driven locomotive and these were used to for the logging in small tight narrow hey. gauge they did different you know your stuff uh, over the years hey you know, it's cool it's awesome so these are smaller yeah they, the, the, the gauge of the tracks so the distance between here and here it's okay. smaller so they could the turns can be sharper you get the logs yeah oh there's a little car over there and they got some a crane over there, some other trains. It's a working museum. But that old Shea is pretty neat. The Robert Dollar Company. Right next to the football field. It's a shame it's closed. 
because they're in there working on trains. It says it's a working museum. Welcome to the roots of motive power. If the gates open, come in and look around. If it's not, like it's not now, check in. Let someone know you're here. Don't climb on any equipment without permission. Watch your step. Hazards are everywhere. Do not touch things. They are dirty and greasy. Watch for equipment to be moving at any time enjoy your visit now this is a really cool they literally let you just walk around you can climb on stuff if you ask them nicely that's really cool definitely have to make a point to come back here yeah when it's open couple more things to show you here at the museum and for us to look at i'm not sure what this thing is but maybe it's a cupcake machine because it's got cupcakes on it. Maybe. It Maybe it produces cupcakes. Muffin button. Mu yeah, there you go. Some kind of conveyor belt thing. If anybody knows what that thing is, let me know in the comments. Yeah. Oh. Okay, here's another mystery machine. It's got a belt, four cylinder engine. Oh, it's so Some kind of a yeah. plow, maybe? I don't know. Belt. Got moss on it. Pretty neat looking though. Yeah. Whatever it is. Anybody know what this thing is? Also, this, um, uh, this one let me know in the comments because that's very interesting. Right. Four cylinder motor. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short tour of the Willits uh, area, Skunk Train, and the Motive Power outside part of the museum. Everything is closed today, but there is some still interesting tidbits to look at. And we had a few fun facts from Ryan here, so that all worked out pretty good. Yeah. If you like what I'm doing, you know what to do, and I'll see you on my next video. Like, subscribe, comment, share. <laughs> follow all the all the good stuff if you will and uh we'll help us, this channel grow yeah <laughs> grow into something 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 awesome i hope you guys have a good one thanks for stopping by peace